If you grew up in the 1980s, you probably spent some time in arcades. From Pong to Pac-Man, video arcades had rows upon rows of brightly lit games that captivated the nation. Hello guys, and today we're talking about the most weird arcade games in the world. Cow milking game. Somewhere in Phoenix, Arizona, a lone fake cow stands in an arcade, urging you to milk it. We're not even sure what this game is called, to be honest. There are plenty of cow milking games, which is actually kind of frightening to a degree. But there's something especially off-putting about this particular iteration. Players crouch by a strangely lifelike cow, pulling on the rubbery udders as they light up. Judging by the only videos we could find of this strange game, it plays like a very awkward version of Bop It, where the only command is squeeze it. It's all the fun of being a farmer without those pesky things like hard work or horrible smells that come with the territory. Boonga Boonga The most well-known bizarre arcade game, Boonga Boonga, better known as Spank'em, the arcade machine comes with a peripheral in the shape of a butt, which you spank. Really, what more do you expect from Japan? If you get tired of spanking the jean-clad posterior, you can also use the plastic hand to perform a kancho on it, a Japanese and Korean prank that consists of sticking your fingers up someone's rear end. After spanking the character of your choice, the game will analyze the strength of your hits and print out a card that will explain your sexual behavior. Amusement Washing Machine Does anyone actually like doing their laundry? Li Wei Chen didn't, but instead of just grumbling, he decided to do something about it. And so, the Amusement Washing Machine was born. The creation combines the washing machine and the arcade game into one design that wouldn't look too out of place in an arcade. The idea, according to Chen, is to turn all those hours you wasted on Space Invaders into something that can actually help you in the real world. Amusement Washing Machine throws the iconic Space Invaders pixel art into a laundry sorting game, which syncs with the washing machine to create a strange hybrid of a video game and interactive clothes washing. The washing machine is active as long as you're alive in the game. If you lose all your lives, the washer stops working until you insert more coins and continue playing. Rinse, repeat. Urine-fueled arcade games Now that washing your clothes is more fun, arcade games tackle another necessity that you probably don't typically associate with fun – going to the bathroom. The exhibit bar in London has some unique games for you to play on your potty break, on mounted 12-inch displays above every urinal. And slowly but surely, the concept has started catching on around the world. These games aren't played with your hands, though but with an all-natural, uh, joystick. Compete against the high scores of other men in games like skiing, fueled by your urine. See how you stack up against others in stream strength, aim, and endurance, and earn a very different kind of bragging rights. For what should be pretty obvious reasons, these games are only found in the men's restroom. For now. Turnip Strength Tester Museum of Soviet Video Games, among other interesting remnants of the past, sits a game called Repka Silimer, or Turnip Strength Tester. Turnips aren't exactly famous for their physical strength, making this game seem particularly bizarre and possibly LSD-influenced until you learn about the story it's referencing. The game is based on a Russian folktale about a farmer who grows a giant turnip that's so large and so firmly rooted in its place that the farmer couldn't pull it up on its own. The farmer's wife tries to help, then the granddaughter, the dog, the cat, and finally the mouse, forming a fairy tale conga line that finally managed to pull the stubborn turnip out of the ground. The turnip strength tester assigns you a level based on how hard you pull on the turnip which corresponds to the characters from the story. 
put your back into it, or you'll be labeled as weak as a little mouse. Lobster Catcher Remember those coin-operated claw games in the 80s, where you could snag some fuzzy dice if you moved the robot hand with enough skill? This submarine catcher arcade game allows Japanese gamers to try their hand at catching live lobsters. It takes some skill, because lobsters are wary of being grabbed by an electric claw and they dash away. If you do manage to snag one, you'll really impress your date, and the arcade manager will give you a plastic baggie to take it home for a nice romantic dinner. Or, at the very least, your junior high friends will think you're cool. Ultra-low dining table If you're the kind of destructive person who would rather break everything on the table, there's a game for you as well. Cho Chabudai Gashi, known in English as Ultra-low dining table, is another arcade with a table peripheral. In this case, though, the object of the game is to flip the table peripheral out of anger over an unsatisfying meal, knocking over whoever else happens to be sitting next to it. Strangely enough, this game did well enough to warrant a sequel, Cho Chudabai Gashai Sono 2. In this iteration of the game, you must smash and hit the table until you're powered up enough to flip the table for maximum destructiveness. Hit thumbs up if you want to play one of these arcade games. Subscribe to our channel and turn on notification. We are waiting a comment from you. Thanks for watching. <laughs>